right all right get it in here get it in here oh my name is maurice the project master and uh, today let's try to see something very very different and i would like if it's your first time to be on this youtube channel please uh, just give me your time because you're going to see something that is very very different though you've been doing it but this time around i'm going to try to mix it up just a little bit we're just going to uh, see how to do the braids and how to mix the colors and um, the most the most thing is uh, we should always learn how to line our uh, our hair because that one gives us a uh, very very good result so whenever you're doing the box braids please try to make sure that the hair is very very aligned and spaced very well uh, so that uh, you can see the good result so for today's case we're going to see how you can create your own colors of the dreads and this time around uh, I decided to uh, get the purple color and I mix it with the gold. Yeah, the sense. So that is the the, the color 900 and uh, nine stock 35. Uh, is it? Yes, it is nine stock 35 and uh, mixed with the uh, 27 yes so that's how it is uh, we're going to see how you can mix it and then you try to do your braiding this way so if it's your first time please don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and uh, ring that bell so that you be the first person to watch all these videos and we've been doing a braids the only thing we should we always do is to apply that gel and we make sure that our lines are very very perfect as you can see yeah as you can see we just try to make them very perfect and this one is not like a box i'm doing it in a, re um, a rectangular format you can see how it is so this is not like the not less we just roll this way though this can be painful sometimes you know why the some people when they're doing it they try to make it very very tight when you do it that way trust me it will be painful the only thing you can do just when you're doing it try to leave that quarter inch for the hair to be flexible and you should note this whenever you're doing the uh, these braids like using this method and after plating you see that your braid is not flexible like it's not falling down the those ones that after plating you see there's a little car that there's the curve you understand yeah, when you see that curve just me uh, that means uh, uh, the braid is very very tight like that curve starts from the skin yeah it starts from the skin going down so that means your braid is very very tight you should always leave that quarter inch for that uh, uh, sorry so that it can be flexible yeah it can be flexible in in the way that someone can uh, hold it in all ways um, so that's how it it yeah so yeah you should always try to mind about that most especially like uh, the first lines from uh, the behind uh, the first line if you try to make them very very tight you can also uh, if you make them tight that means if someone is going to hold a bath it will be stretching her scalp so which is not right at all so you should always try to be very very careful this is uh, just like this in that i just hold the hair this way and i try to make sure that i leave that quarter inch down and when i try to roll it i also try to be gentle in fact as long as you leave that quarter inch you can always 
make it tight you can even make it tight the way you want that's not uh, there's no problem but as long as you see that your braid is flexible you can see how they are yeah they go all up uh, in all sides you understand all positions you can it is that flexible so you should always also try it out do it that way and um I try to be creative be creative in that you can always mix your colors you know and you blend your colors the way you want so that you get something good and unique the way you see mine and uh, when we're braiding it is the or like we all know how to braid i understand that <laughs> so if you didn't know you can always check out my other previous videos there are more more videos showing you how to braid um now so you we braid it this way like uh when you're trying to make uh when you make this braid tight that means it is also not going to be flexible at all yeah so you just try to uh, braid it and uh, not very very tight yeah just like this and we all know how we are supposed to finish some other people when they reach here and they start the twisting and doesn't look smart at all you just have to first make sure you keep on braiding it up to the end so that it gets uh, that uh, nice tip in the sun you just keep on braiding it this way yeah, I'm going to show you how uh, the finishing is supposed to be just like that and you start twisting you see what I'm saying just like that you just make sure that the twist is very very small like it's not big because that times some people when they're tired they just braid and they, in the reaching at the middle and they start twisting because they're tired but it's not good it makes the braid look ugly so uh, make sure at least uh, the twisting is small the one that you you have left down and this is how my uh, braids looks like so you just have to trim it a little bit you trim it this way very very little uh, so that means if i've mixed this purple and gold you can also try and mix yours or maybe uh, if it's brown and something else so that you also create some good good colors for yourself so this is how it looks down and trust me you can see how flexible it is and uh, after we do apply the anti-itchy yes because uh, sometimes after plating that those people wants to hold the puff yes so uh, when the hair is old uh, is old on the scalp that means it's, she's, it's, she's already protected on the itching so this is how it is you can see how the braids looks like very very uh, like tangela and very uh, good lined so let me try to show you how I try to line it from down so that you can see <laughs> some other people when they try to line it there's somewhere they get lost so this is was my first step sorry she's trying to apply some more this was my first uh, step and i did it that way mm -hmm. and then you can see the second still i'm on the same uh, the same uh, line then the third one it starts from uh from the front way yes just comes from this way let me try to remove you can see how it, it is moving let me try to show you just like that so it comes from the front and then you keep on bringing it this way you see how the line still goes from the front yes the same thing just going and then 
you can see uh, sometimes when people reach on this area it's where the um, maybe their boxes start getting lost <laughs> they don't always find them so uh, this is how you just have to keep on lining it yeah. trying like to make a circle you understand what I'm saying you see how it is you try to be like you're making a circle so knowing that when you reach in the center you'll be having your uh, rectangular still uh, like you'll be seeing them when they're still perfect and this is how it is up to the end in the sense so there when I reach here I try to show you the front that's how it becomes in a sense so this is how it is and please my name is Maurice the project master on my Instagram uh, yeah you can go and still follow me so that we chat more and please if you're a return subscriber and if it's your first time to be on this channel just know we do a lot of things so the only thing you can do please first click on that red button and ring the bell You'll be the first person to watch all my videos and remember it is every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So that is what I always have for you. You can catch up with me so that we do this together. I sign out and please just know I love you so much. Bye bye.